Well, hello, and welcome back. I told you we are going to do some other stuff and we'd be being more active. This, this right here, is what we're going to talk about today. But that, that what you hear up there, that is the sound of our ever-scrolling, beautiful, colored landscape that I will show you someday. And if you remember... It is next to our portrait of General Washington, and the babbling book reminds us, I don't know, we just don't turn it off. I don't know, I can't find this off switch actually at this point, and I don't want to break it, because I think if I turn it off, it will stay off. So, we're going to leave it on, and just listen to the babbling book behind us, and think of General Washington, while we're talking about this, this. Is a Mattel Electronics and Television, Intelligent Television, Video Game, Computer System. Built in 1979 and it spanned its production, its first run of production through 1982-83 for the crash. Um, didn't make it through the crash and then in various forms they continue making cartridges through the 80s and then it kind of went underground for a while, then popped back up, and everybody knows this story, so I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Then, in the 2000s, the Blue Sky Rangers popped up, and they were the, some of the original programmers. Whoa, hey, Earthquake. Um, and they released a bunch of games for the PlayStation uh, and Xbox and other systems and television lives. And I always have had a copy in my possession since I've been an adult. I it was one of the, f it was the first retro game collection I kept and it's one that I am going to keep as I'm selling all my video game collection. Um, I've already let go some of it and I'm going to be releasing more of it and this is part of why this video is happening. But I am always going to keep a complete set of all the games that I have and all the games that I, and, I, and I'm actually going to keep collecting because I'm missing a bunch of games. Oh, and what I want to say is now, uh, Intellivision has been revived on a couple of fronts. Uh, one that's really cool is, and I had to ask about this, what is going on? Why is this happening all of a sudden? There's a bunch of homebrew games. Um, some people went back and rewrote a bunch of games. They rewrote Donkey Kong Jr. They ported over some games from, from Atari. Um, and then they've re there's been written a whole bunch of, like, Brand new IPs for Intellivision written. And I thought it was pretty cool because what, what's going on is that they are writing uh, new games because someone came up with uh, Inti Basic, which instead of previously apparently you if you wanted to write for code for, for this beast, you had to basically write it in assembly language. So someone came up with uh, Intellivision Basic and voilà. Uh, it became easier. And then the other thing is that they, uh, cartridges. Hey, there's some carts right here. Hoo ha -ee. Oh, what do we got there? Boxing, burger time, blackjack and poker. What's that red one? I don't know. Uh, we'll talk about that. What they would do is apparently there's more. These were only 4K of RAM and now they, they could buy some things with more RAM. And if you're doing emulation, it's a, 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 obviously unlimited RAM. And so they were able to use more RAM and they have a, a basic programming language and all of a sudden there's all sorts of really cool new games going on for the Intellivision and you can actually buy flashcards so you can play it on the original hardware or you can emulate it um, there's some cool stuff going on with that I haven't really kept up with it at all because I don't I have so many other things going on I just don't have time to keep up with everything but I'm aware that these things exist I'd love to sit down and play them um, actually I went to go buy one of the flash cards because I thought it'd be cool to get a flash card and then um, that would kind of back up all my my, my games because this is one of the one of the ones that I keeping physical copy of as opposed to having the all the ROMs and emulating it. So, oh well. Um, but here's an interesting thing. This is the interesting thing. Oh, the the other branch that we're not going to talk about today in this particular video, what I may talk about later, is that they're trying to bring up, bring back and modernize this thing with something called the Intellivision Amico. Now the Amico 
is something that I was really interested in for a while uh, when it first came out. Um, it's they started hyping it in 2018 and saying that it was going to have a 2020 launch date. And of course, the world went to shit, and they used it for all excuses. Uh, we bought a lot of us all bought it on the hype machine of the the, the CEO and. I don't know, it's just degenerated into a wonderful, wonderful mess that if I didn't, wasn't so interested in seeing it succeed and so disappointed that it's not going to succeed, I would really be enjoying the, the train wreck that this is because it's just, it, it, I mean, it's almost like watching somebody like fall apart. I, I, I don't want to make fun of drug use and like people that fall apart when they get really hooked on drugs, but like... Some of that tragedy can can have some comedic effect to it, and and some of it is so tragic that it's just you have to laugh at it. It's not quite where I'm going with this, but it's just a slow moving train wreck of like epic proportions. It's more like it's more like watching a bad business deal where people just keep calling your bluff and you just keep doubling down. It's there's a, there's a bad movie plot in here somewhere. But we'll talk about it some other time because I had a personal run in with the guy, and then. It turns out that I'm not the only one, and, 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 and sometimes when you're alone in the universe, and then you're reminded that you're not, so it's kind of cool. All right, six minutes and 25 seconds into this video, and this is where I'm going to have a problem with it. Now, we're going to talk about this in television, this particular unit. Um, I had this for a while, and when my daughter was younger, um, it took a tumble off the thing, and it sort of doesn't work anymore but i'm confused as to what's wrong with it and so this is why i'm putting this out here i'm going to drop this video in a couple of places so that maybe i can get an idea of um whether or not this is fixable or not because i don't mind opening this thing up if i know what i'm doing but i'm not sure if i do know what i'm doing in fact actually what i'm going to do when i'm done with this is i'm probably going to open up this anyway but i want to put this out there and see if anybody when I open it up and I see just a, a wire dangling and I can know which to put it back, that'll be fine. But otherwise, I'm, I'm going to ask for some help here as to what's going on here because this thing's broke, but it's not broke. So check this out. All right, so we're going to turn this on. Now, I love my Daytron. CRT all the way, baby. Now, as you notice, that's that's not the Night Stalker screen. That's not the Night Stalker screen. Now, if you oh. So, obviously, it's playing code, but it's not playing code. Something scrambled. That's what happens when you play Night Stalker. All right, let me turn this off here. I'll turn that down. No, it's not just Night Stalker, though, because I've had games go wonky on me before, but oh, there's Scheme. Well, that's not right. And then again, I mean, the controls are sort of working. I mean, skiing never controls never really work very well. But you know, that that does that's just not that's not it. And and that's like this for every game. So it's a, it's a hardware problem. Like I said, it happened when I took a tumble. I expected it to not work at all. Poor poor bastard. Now this looks like it's gonna work. But there you go. Uh, zero. Ready? Okay, here we go. I mean, this works sort of. I mean, but the graphics are all scrambled. So this works better than the other. So I'm, I'm again, I am just not sure. <laughs> this could play it like this. We play it on Twitch like this, right? <laughs> How's that? All right. Anyway. Boy, that's a seizure inducer, isn't it? All right. I need to figure out how to fix this thing. I need to know what's going on with this thing. Um, it's like that with all of them, so... I think it's in the hardware. Like I said, I'm going to open this up and poke around a little bit, but I wanted to just reach out preemptively because I know there's a lot of guys that repair this stuff and do a good job with it, and... You know, I'd be like, oh, yeah, the uh, the chip over on the third side, the uh, solder comes cracked on the third uh, third thing, and you got to go, go back in there and re redo those ones because that's what the problem is. Perfect. I can follow directions. I just, I'm not very good at troubleshooting. 
Unless it's blatant. So let's see. We're going to crack it open. I'll let it record on it. We'll put it up over the, on the machine, uh, around there, and uh, we'll see where we're at. All right, goodbye.